All right, guys, I've got a pretty cool video for you today. I'm going to show you some clips from one of my video analysis programs, working with Mark. I've been sending a lot of videos back and forth, but I'm just going to show you one particular piece of advice I was giving him. Also, I asked Slavi to give his thoughts on Mark's forehand. We kind of give the same advice, but we just come at it from slightly different angles. I think you're going to really enjoy what Slavi has to say. So make sure you watch all the video and let me know what you think. Cheers. All right, man, so my first bit of advice was for you to relax the shoulder because you were using it a lot to push the racket through the ball. So the kinetic chain wasn't going through the arm. It was sort of getting uh, stopped at the shoulder. So by relaxing the shoulder, we can start to release the arm and the racket. You've done a great job of releasing the shoulder, but I think now you need to release the elbow because as you come in through here, this arm kind of stays at this, uh, this same angle and you can see it's a little bit locked. So you need to be able to release the elbow just like you were able to release the shoulder. So as you come in through here, I can see that this elbow is in the same position as it was on contact pretty much all the way through the follow through. And I really want to see it relax and release and rotate. So see if you can, you know, sometimes it doesn't sound very specific and people say, well, how do I do that? But this game is all about being able to feel your body and feel these different sensations. So this I can feel my shoulders being tense and I can relax. If it's a cold day outside, I can, t I'm, I'm all tense and say, like, okay, let's relax. All right, you can do that without anyone telling you the technique to do it. And that's all we got to sometimes do on the tennis court is see if we can talk to our body and relax different joints. You did a great job of relaxing the shoulder. It's not getting involved as much. Now just see if you can relax the, uh, the elbow and just swing that arm out there. And I think you're going to have uh, a lot more effortless power, but I think you're also going to be able to make better adjustments because when everything's moving as one piece, you're a little bit restricted. Hey Mark, how are you doing? Uh, Tom asked me to look at the video that you sent him and maybe help him and you try to answer some of the questions and comments that you have for him. So I've been reviewing your video for like the last maybe half hour, so I have some comments. But let's first start with your um, questions about that you had about your technique. Your arm is kind of locked in in this position throughout the entire shot. Like I realized that you're trying to keep the arm a little bit bent, but it, it doesn't have to be, in fact, it shouldn't be the same position throughout the entire shot. I mean, you can kind of let go of the elbow as you're hitting through the stroke. What ends up happening though, is instead of letting go of the elbow, you kind of, you, you end up rolling the wrist. It's kind of, it's very hard to see on the video because it can't stop frame by frame, but you actually roll the wrist at the end of the shot instead of kind of letting, letting the elbow. So sometimes if, if the arm wants to straighten out through a shot, it's like, it's okay. It's okay to do that. So I'll try to pause on some of the uh, shots just so we can see some still frames. You see how your elbow here is at the exact same position as it was uh, in the beginning of the shot. And now you're going to use this hand, you're going to use this hand motion, which shouldn't really be there in order to bring the racket around your body where you should be using this rotation here. Okay. And you should be um, pronating the shoulder rather than the hand at the end. Um, but let's take a look at some more strokes. All right, the same angle on the elbow here. So I haven't seen you straighten out the arm once. I'm not saying that you should hit with straight arm, but you could straighten out a little bit as a follow through. It's not so much that you should be aiming for a straight arm, you want to be um, letting go of that elbow lock. And in fact, that's the main reason why you're suffering from power loss is because um, your muscles are fighting against each other, right? So even though if I tighten my arm, right, at this position, and my bicep is activated, the reason why it's not going like this is because the tricep and other muscles are keeping it in check. So although I'm working really hard, I'm not actually accomplishing any anything, right? My arm is staying at the same movement. It's not doing this and it's not doing this, okay? 
okay it's not rapidly helping me achieve any kind of motion right it's just holding really strong at some preset position it seems like you're doing that uh, with your elbow and to make up for that to get some fluidity in the shot you're you're using a little bit of hand and that hand movement isn't even happening throughout the entire shot it's it's uh, during the shot the hand is actually very static so the only thing that's happening that, that's contributing to your to your um, shot power is the fact that you're rotating the body a little bit and um, and your racket has that X amount of momentum but there isn't that much kinetic chain happening in the shot itself um, so what, what would I recommend is to um, swing swing a few shots just loosely try to feel like the the sequence of activation um, of the muscles that need to happen right because as um, you know we've talked about with Tom before said many times that in order for a muscle to be able to be activated it needs to be loose first right so I can't activate the the, uh, the bicep unless it's unless it's loose right just like a light switch okay the muscles work on electricity yeah so if you keep the muscle correct you'll kind of feel the sequence at which the muscles need to activate and then you can start adding more energy to it as you kind of feel the you know the sequence but without feeling it if it's static no matter how much energy I put into this every single extra bit of energy I put into it it, it goes into the strengthening of my shape rather than a specific action that I'm trying to accomplish I hope I'm getting myself uh, across uh, with that um, so other things I notice 